Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're going to look at a couple of different stories that all share the same theme, and that is individuals treating fictional characters like they're real people, and treating real people like they're fictional characters. Now the first story involves a fan service mod for Street Fighter VI that leads to a very strange discussion on social media where users are claiming that you cannot sexualize fictional characters because they lack the ability to consent. And then we're going to move into some very strange stories involving Genshin Impact. There is currently some infighting among fans over a certain character that has led to individuals being doxxed, as well as one individual claiming that they killed a cat because it resembled a character they don't like. And it led to Genshin Impact eventually making a statement and reminding their players that this game is in fact fictional. Yes. Lots to go over today, but we're going to start with this right here. We have an Italian Senate Part 2 Electric Boogaloo here. So during a recent Street Fighter 6 tournament that was live streamed, an individual was using a mod that made Chun-Li uh, naked. And unfortunately, this player forgot to turn off this mod before their character loaded up on the screen, and Chun-Li's entire naked body head-to-toe was exposed to the live audience. Obviously something I can't show in this video, but yes, it was all hanging out in the breeze, and it was an unfortunate and also fortunate situation for onlookers. But this led to an insane take, one of the crazier ones I've ever seen on this channel, and that is definitely saying something. Quote retweeting that last video, this individual said, Since there are more people than there should be that don't grasp why this stuff is disgusting, referring to the mod, I'll try my best to explain. Fictional characters in media have no autonomy. He slash she slash it can't consent to anything, and neither male or female characters can consent to sexualization. Now, before you guys start laughing this person off the platform, hold on a second, credit where credit is due, they're not entirely wrong. They are correct in saying that uh, fictional characters lack the ability to consent. They're also right in saying that fictional characters do not have autonomy. But what they, for, they, they failed to get at here is that fictional characters also lack any sort of self-awareness. They are not sentient. They don't have feelings. Nothing you could do to this character would ever harm it because they're not real. I know, that's a crazy thing to do. I have to sit here and explain to a full-grown adult that fictional characters are not real. And yes, they do not have the ability to consent, but that doesn't mean that they feel anything like a human being would. That's why you can do whatever you want with drawings and nobody gets hurt. That is the whole point. But people like this are now trying to essentially equate sexualizing a fictional character to sexual assault. That is insane. But their thread would continue. So they would go on to say, So the decision to make a nude mock-up of a character is very similar in the mindset to creating deep fake poontang. The only person who said yes to this is not the one being sexualized. Therefore, you're in the same territory as violating the consent of an actual person mentally. That is the most insane stretch I've seen in a while. So the reason that deepfake poontang is so violative is because the one party being featured in it does not consent. So these people, largely the vast majority, are not consenting to their face or their body or their likeness being inserted into a program that shows them or swaps them onto a body of someone being sexualized. The whole intent of deep fakes like that is to give the illusion that that celebrity or person is engaging in that sexual behavior when they are actually not. That is why it violates people's consent because they didn't consent to be being put in that situation and obviously it harms their likeness and their reputation being seen by others who might believe what they're seeing is real. This is not the case with fictional characters because nothing's being harmed. I, I, again, it doesn't really require a, a stellar explanation, but it should be that obvious. But going on, they would continue to say, Now, do you honestly think most women would see this practice and feel like the person responsible has any respect for women? Generally speaking, maybe you do, but you're not making a very strong case. So ladies in the audience, uh, please... Let me know if you're okay with the sexualization of fictional characters. Uh, speak up for yourself. This is the time because this individual is speaking for you and saying that you would not be okay with the sexualization of fictional characters and it's somehow demeaning to you. Yeah, please share your thoughts, ladies in the audience. But 
Nonetheless, that is a pretty crazy situation. All over an optional mod, by the way. But we continue to another set of drama, once again involving fictional characters. So I saw this tweet yesterday, and it, it raised a lot of questions because I had no idea what this was about. But it states, the Scaramouche drama is insane. It re it's really scary how delusionally defensive and obsessed people can get with fictional characters. We've seen bits of that kind of tribalism, even in Genshin Twitter, but I really hope it never gets that bad. It's just an anime gacha game. And of course, as a result, I did some research to find out more about this story and what this possible drama is. So it focuses on this character, Scaramouche, who has been around in the Genshin uh, available banners for a long time now. But this character is very, very controversial in one region of the player base, and that is in China, which leads us to this insane thread posted about a week ago in the Genshin Impact subreddit. So it shares a very disturbing tale about Scaramouche and how that character is received in the Chinese fan base. So long story short, we'll look at the details in a second, but basically there are a lot of female players who enjoy this character. However, there's a lot of male character or male players of the game that hate this character. They hate his personality. They quite literally treat him like a real human being and think he's totally bad and that liking him makes you a bad person. So they use that as an excuse to attack any of the people that are supporting this character. Now let's see some of the stuff that these players were doing on the related forums. So they picked this character, like I just pointed out, that it's popular among female, female players and it's hated by the male players. So they use this as an excuse to go on and attack other people, which led to this. So here's just some of the stuff that has been alleged as a result of this character. There is a claim out there that one individual killed a cat. They used their hatred of this character to kill a cat because it resembled this character that they hate so much. Yeah, if that is true, that is absolutely disgusting. And apparently there are videos of this happening. And obviously uh, we will not be showing them or even looking them up at this point. But there's been also a whole slew of people doxxed over this character. The writer of this thread was doxxed for talking about this character. There were Hoyoverse, Hoyoverse employees who were doxxed over this character. Whether it was people who helped create this character or people involved with Genshin in general. They basically tried to dox and harass anyone with even the tiniest connection to this character and its creation and it also involves spreading a lot of misinformation about this character trying to paint him as a war criminal when that's not the lore behind this character and it was just kind of a another way people are trying to justify attacking people who support the character but it gets even worse they even went as far as harassing not just the fans but also the voice actor behind this character by attacking them when they're streaming and also Believe it or not, this is insane. They attempted to report this fictional character to the Chinese government to try to get it censored and get the people involved in trouble. Yes, they actually reported a fictional character to the Chinese government who apparently didn't have a problem with it. So basically all of their claims were dismissed, which only made them more angry and more desperate to do things like doxing people over this character absolutely insane situation and again another example of people treating real people worse than fictional characters and it's it's crazy to see but it's nothing new when it comes to genshin impact and that is not the only genshin impact story that's recently been happening so they announced a new story quest and a new chapter and a lot of people are looking at the names and some of the themes of the chapter and are claiming that it is inspired by france and french culture okay and that's a pretty fair claim based on everything that we're seeing. But this led to a whole host of drama where individuals were trying to politicize this. Because there's a lot of rioting and political issues going on in France right now. So they're trying to tie these characters to real life events. And it was absolutely insane. Which eventually led to Genshin Impact on their official EN account to make this reply to the original thread stating, This is a work of fiction and is not related to any actual people, events, groups, or organizations. Please refer to the official in-game notice for details. Uh, come on, Genshin Impact, are you telling me she's not real? Just step on my heart already. Put a knife through it. You've completely ruined my day. 
But yeah, their, their solution to this was basically saying uh, we have evolved past the need for France. But all jokes aside, it is incredibly sad and just downright disturbing that Genshin Impact has to remind its fan base that this game isn't real. That these characters and places are not real and stop treating them as such. They literally had to fact check their own fan base. And if this isn't proof that these fandoms have completely lost their minds and that some individuals are treating fictional characters better than real human beings, I don't know what else is. This was a crazy set of stories today and it's really only a snapshot. There's other stuff, but I wanted to keep it brief and focus on these main stories. But yeah, uh, people acting like complete psychos over fictional characters, what's new? But uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please share all of your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.